Catarigger Raymond Calvin's mind is more at ease now that he has a place to stay. He lived in an apartment when he arrived from Uganda just over a year ago. But then problems started. Literally, my neighbors started bullying me, so I was literally chased out of the house. The refugee Clement says he began getting racial taunts from other tenants because of his skin color and his accent. Like you're black, you're not needed in this country. Like you're a refugee, you're an asylum seeker, you're nothing in this country. After he left the apartment, he lived on the street for a full month between January and February. You have nothing to eat. Eat once a day. That's the supper. People working with asylum seekers in Montreal say since last year, they've been hearing more stories of racist acts. They give them a funny face. Sometimes they could like tell them some, go back in your country. Jesse Edmond, a social worker who supports Calvin, says since this summer, he's heard similar accounts and worse from his clients. Some of them went to bad things here. Edmond remembers one refugee claimant from the DRC who fled Quebec City after being attacked. I was talking to him, he told me that they almost killed him because he was black, you know? That was earlier this year. Advocate Franz Andre argues that these racial attacks are so frequent and horrific, they're making even citizens question their place in the province. And I'm starting to feel that way. He blames the rise in intolerance on the rhetoric from some political leaders, the ongoing public debate about problems refugee claimants are allegedly causing, and what he sees as scapegoating newcomers for things like the housing crisis. Yes, there's issues, but they should not be pointing at asylum seekers to be the cause of all the problems in Quebec. Despite the challenges, Calvin has few regrets about coming to Canada and is grateful for the help he's getting. He's philosophical about the racism he's faced. You have to just live and move on with life and just accept God to take you where you are. The 25-year-old is hoping to start university soon. Phil Carpenter, Global News, Montreal.